projects that we work with here work alongside major competitions um, which give us a taster of what it is like to practice as a designer maker and an artist. Um, the competitions we've been entering in have been the hand and lock embroidery competition, a very prestigious one about doing a couture level of embroidery onto a garment. This is my piece which I made, which I, I brought from Japan, a kimono, and then to give it a contemporary look I cut it into a jacket and then using silk ribbons and buttons and beads I embroidered and embellished. This is all hand done with French knots and silk embroidery. So this is another part of the college, how the standard that we are made to go towards for these live competitions with hand and lock being such a couture level of embroidery and fashion. So, which is, again, another way of dipping our toe in the water, getting us up to that professional level in our second year. Which is a really good start to be in your second year and to get your work out there already. And people just are going to be noticing it. And that gives you a good stepping ladder for when you get to new designers. People are going to, maybe, but hopefully, are going to be knowing who you are or just heard of you. So even though we are a small college, we are still out there in in the big wide world of entering these big competitions. The techniques that I've been able to use here have been a lot about knitting on domestic machines and we've got the DPA machine which we've knitted, quite a fine jersey knit. We learn a lot about manipulating fabrics through knitting, stitching onto them, printing onto them and felting with them as well. Felting is a quite a big thing here. We've had the National Woolen Mill competition which I made a blanket from felting which I came third in. Um, and it gets you into that environment of promoting yourself and your work in a professional way. And seeing your work in an exhibition as well, that was another treat from the competition. So from that, I've been developing my knitting, creating a lace effect, going back to the handmade tradition of of Wales, which is another reason for choosing this college, being in Wales with all the traditional weaving, spinning, dyeing, felting, and just keeping in touch with that handmade, but bringing it back into the 21st century with contemporary techniques. My work is a political piece um, and personal towards me being a parent and today's issues of war and the impact it's going to have on my children and all children in the future and using the mediums of embroidery and knitting and print I've made children's dresses and boys garments with embroidery to show the bullet holes but as a subtle concept. My lace which is in my knitted pieces is made up of the silhouette of soldiers and I've been knitting and embroidering into that and then cutting away at the knitting to show the fragility of this my installation piece, there'll be a piece of fabric hanging up which I've had shot at and there'll be a film projected onto that fabric of my children playing with wearing the garments to bring home that reality of what could be for, for their children and my children. On the day of my interview I had a tour around the college and I could see how it was quite cosy and I liked the area being small town and it's quite safe and it's quite scenic as well and also choosing a smaller college you, you get to know everybody even from different departments you still like you say hello to them in the corridor and the caretakers and people in in the canteen it's just everybody knows everybody and and it's just that interaction it's just it helps you get through the course when it's like hard and the tutors will be able to give us more support for each student with there being smaller classes and it's nice like the relationship is like you'll talk about a weekend and then you'll go into talking about your project work and if you just need someone to talk to and if we're going off on the wrong track with our projects they'll kick us off that track and put us back on the right one they're really helpful and they're just they're always there from the horror stories i've heard of other universities where there's just no help no tutorials and just to be here seeing somebody and like, even the technician here lindsay she's like the glue to us as well when the tutors are busy she's there it's for us to grab so it's, again, it's that tight relationship with all of us together. So it's, it's nice to know that we're not in it alone, so we've got that support from everybody. It's just nice to work here in this environment. <laughs>